Hey, good morning. It's Matt Tommy, and um, you're kind of getting a stream of consciousness video right now. <laughs> I, uh, after it rains, I love to go out in my garden and uh, pull weeds and that sort of thing, you know. So you can see I have a very big garden area all the way down there, all the way back in the woods. My moss garden, if you've been following me on Facebook. So anyway, um, I was just thinking this morning it's a great opportunity to share with you about uh, making baskets from the garden. And one of the things that I love uh, to grow uh, in my garden, not only for the flowers, but for the foliage, are iris and daylilies. Um, I find varieties that are pretty long and um, I can harvest those. So a couple of things to remember about that. Typically, um, after your um, daylilies and iris bloom, a lot of gardeners cut those back, cut the foliage back. Uh, down to the ground and let them kind of come back. So you get two harvests off of those. And so that's one thing that I'm getting ready to do um, right now. I have a ton, so I mean, I have more than I could ever use. Um, don't be writing me and ask me to send you some. I can't do that. But um, <laughs> you can you can grow these in your own yard very, very easily. They transplant easily. Um, they're just really beautiful. But one of the things I wanted to show you is, uh, especially on daylilies, but also on iris, as they bloom and as they get further in the season, um, kind of the, the some of the foliage um, drops to the bottom of the um, kind of wilts and, and dies um, on the plant. And that is perfect to go ahead and harvest for daylilies uh, or for baskets. So for a day like this, which is really foggy and wet outside and that sort of thing, you can tell my glasses are already fogging up. Um, it's a really great time to get those and um, because they're really soft and pliable and that sort of thing. So I wanted to show you how that looks. I'm going to turn my camera around here. I think I can do that. And um, if not, I'm just going to do it like this. Okay. So do you see all that right there? All that brown right there? See how that looks? That's a wonderful weaving material. So what I'm going to do here is just... Um, I'm going to pull some of these up um, from the root and allow that to, um, you know, just to begin to, um, I want to show you how it looks so you can, so you can do it as well. So I just get my hand down here, just right down at the bottom and you can just, you can pull them one by one like that, or you can grab them whole sections at a time and gently see how they just pull right out like that. Really nice. And you can tell they're really, really very very pliable at this point so if you like um twining in particular um these are really great plants um to use for that they look great in the garden uh, you can use them all year long and then you know you can um just do a just a ton of different bases uh with these to get them started and twine really big to really small vessels um if you like really fine stuff um you know finely woven then these are great for that uh as well they give you a really nice color uh variation also, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, but you think it's interesting, <laughs> come take a class with me. Um, I do a couple of twining classes with this stuff every year, and you can find out all about that on my website. So, all right, I'm going to go um, use these, and um, maybe we'll give you a little tutorial on twining with these uh, after this video. Let me know if you like it. Share it. Thanks a lot. Bye.